Hi folks and welcome into another Stone Levi video from Tits Beer Bong 420. We got two strains for this video, but they're gonna be in separate bowls. Done up. Not sure which one's which. Here's two of the nugs. One of them I've actually had before. It's an outdoor strain that I was told that was picked up a lot either like earlier this year or it was last year at some point. So I just know like the north end of the town over. Name's not important in that town, but I know it is where the outdoor came from. But then the indoor strain, whichever one it is, it's called Dark Dark World, yeah. And I don't know which one's which. Dark World grown indoor and some outdoor strain. But this one here was kind of like punchy and stuff on the smell. And this one here, it had some kind of like fruity smell or something that made me go, oh, just from smelling the nugs in the bag. So one's an outdoor grown strain, and the other's indoor grown, and it's dark world. So, we're going to see those strains separately bong ripped. Maybe one day mixed together in a video. Tits Beer Bong 420, still be vibe video. You can have a session with me if you want. You don't have to. But it's always better too, eh? Yeah. <laughs> So fire in the hole, folks. And this is Roz Hempwick. I'm fine with or without Hempwick. Only the odd time you might taste a little bit of the lighter. Most of the time I can't tell. And then the odd time this seems like it makes it a smoother, cleaner hit. And then other times I kind of see no difference. So fire in the hole, aka bowl. <coughs> And then for a moment, as some of it's burning off, it's almost like having an inside going if you care for those. And yeah, this strain. It has a lot of smoothness, but a little harshness in its smoke of smoking aspect of the smooth slash harshness. On my tongue, it might be a little salty or a tad little fruity. And I'm question marking if I can taste a hint of mint, maybe even. <coughs> but I don't know if this is the outdoor in the bowl or that dark world stuff. It starts off smooth, but once it hits inside you, it gives you a little harshness. There's a little bit of some taste in that smoke, and on like the tongue and in the mouth. And it feels like it's more sativa than anything, but not those, whoa, very powerful ones, you know. <coughs> and now we're going to get ready for the next bowl. And we're back again, folks. You can take a look for the rip. One's an outdoor strain and one's dark world, and it was grown indoors. I don't know what the outdoor strain's name is, so can't tell you that. So we're going to use my other bone now to rip whichever one we didn't rip just yet. Huh. And as of right now, still got the sativa going. But it feels like a little more detox that kicked in. So fire in the hole, aka bowl. <coughs> Decent box here. Only thing with this honeycomb perk bong, folks. Some of the tokes that you have to pull to get the hit affects your lungs a little, and then you get a little bit of a harsher toke than it would be on some of the other bongs. This one seems like it's bringing up the sativa effects some, but everything seems mellow, so they must have indica and sativa in them. <coughs> and I don't know if I'm really getting flavor off this one. I think um from from the budge you saw, I think this was the one on the 
my left. <coughs> but I don't know fully what to say about it. I don't really seem to taste a lot of flavor. Maybe a little flower flavor, maybe a little earthiness or something with maybe a tiny hint of mint again. I don't know. But it seemed like those mellow strains that are more sativa than indica. I'll try and burn this one down. Peace and pot. <coughs> oh, okay. The bomb can give you good highs. Just that little harshness from pulling in the toke that hits your throat. Oh wait. That has nothing to do with the food. And we're back. We're gonna do a two strain bowl here. So a two strain marijuana salad. Whatever the outdoor stuff is with the dark universe or dark world. And that's apparently indoor. But as of right now, they both seem to be similar in their high, like effects, I should say, where it's probably more sativa, but a mellow sativa because there's some indica in it and stuff and trust me I've had some really strong crazy sativas before and I've had some really really mellow indicas before that need a little more oomph to them and even though the highs kind of seem like the same sorry if you people don't like hearing the word high or whatever but whatever I'll probably just be a similar strong I'll probably just be similar effects just Felt a lot more of it now. Probably coming off of this bowl. And let's burn this bowl now. And give thanks to everybody involved with growing it, delivering it. Thanks to the creator for creating this product to be in the world. All the flowers and marijuana. This, that. Cheers to good health, happy times, and a safe, fun nature. Piece.